Tell, t- tell the people about your frustration with the Aaron Judge home run, Jace. I'm just tired of... Pe- <laughs> what was that? I'm ti- I can't speak today. <laughs> Jace. I became Sean feel. Connery. I'm yeah. just tired of people going after opponents of Judge, being like, why aren't you pitching to him? They shouldn't be walking him. Hey, you're a good hitter. I'm not going to pitch to you if I don't want to. Like, I'm enough with this. I don't Because he's close to a record, I should just groove fastballs like Chan Ho Park. Like, yeah. get out of here. I'm tired of these people complaining. Hold on, just don't be afraid. Just pitch the guy. That's no. all. If I if, if I have a base open, he's their best hitter. Sorry. Well, classic Jace. Not even certain. You, he's you their can't best let Judge be you is the bottom line. It's a gacky. Especially Stanton's not hot right now. He's got to get hot. But the way Judge is pitching, he's the, the, the right, the one player you identify, hey, this guy will not beat me. We used to say that about Barry Bonds, and then he'd hit a home run off us, and he'd beat us anyway. But you say <laughs> going in your game plan is we will not. But then again, if you walked him – with to walk in a run, right? You've seen that, the intentional walk with the bases loaded. I think the fan bases go crazy and the analytics people go crazy, but I don't I don't want Judge hitting home runs off us. I would like, I'm not kidding you, for us to start having commercials where Chris Cody comes to you on behalf of cowardice. On behalf of <laughs> I just want to be afraid of people and I want to argue on behalf of what no one wants at the ballpark, which is to see Aaron Judge walk walked. Incidentally, wearing number ninety nine, look at me, Louie. Little bit. Yeah. I mean, not little yes. bit. Mm-hmm. I, I, you wear if you wear number ninety nine. And he, he plays for the Yankees. I got like seventeen numbers to pick from. David, the real home run champion, single season home run champion is? Barry Bonds. Why are people not doing that? Why are people bringing out Roger Maris's son? Why are people trying to cling retroactively to changing how the numbers because, work? Because, Dan, the home run record isn't who actually holds it. It's whoever holds it that was wearing pinstripes. Exactly. That's the real record. The yep. Yankee with the most home runs. Mm-hmm. I actually think it's just people like the Hall of Famers, Ferguson Jenkins came out yesterday saying, you know what, just we're, there are a lot of people who think that the home run record is 61, way to go, Aaron, you've tied the actual home run record. And there are Hall of Famers who think it, but the reason they think that is they're just upset that they didn't do steroids, so they didn't get the pay and the contracts that the steroids people use. So there's, there's that sort of level of jealousy amongst many of the older players. But someone like Roger Maris Jr. who comes out, he was the happiest guy in the ballpark. I was talking about this on Nothing Personal today. That that makes me laugh. He wasn't happy that the record was tied. He was happy he got to leave Toronto, right? He didn't want to go to games anymore. It was seven games in a row, so he was hugging everyone in sight. And uh, But the true story of yesterday was the guy who dropped the ball. I, you got to get him on the show. It's not too late. If you're a retired baseball player, what's stopping you from doing some steroids and coming back? Hitting some dingers. Ferguson Jenkins? I think what's <laughs> stopping him is probably the metal detector at every ballpark. Yes. She's it's, not, it's too late for him. It, it yes. is too late yes. for it is too late for him, but that's not what she was talking about. What's stopping anybody as a retired <laughs> ball player? What what is your best guess on what's going on with Pujols right now? Uh, Pujols is part of a, a club, but listen, Albert Pujols is part <laughs> of a club. Great, uh, the just hit lefties <laughs> club. What, what is that? The just hit lefties. Part of a club. Know, just hit lefties club. <laughs> listens to this show and our show, and I will say this. Albert Pujols has never tested positive. There are myriad players from my time who never tested positive. Do Did they do steroids? We won't know for sure because we have no proof of it. Are there things that we saw in the clubhouse that would give us an indication that something was going on that we ignored? Because what do we care? We want run scored and we want fan engagement and we want attendance and we want revenue and we want asset appreciation. Is that possible? Yeah. Were there people from the Dominican who lied about their age? Yes. Does that mean Albert did? It doesn't mean he did, but it means that many people did who were in his situation. But none of that takes away from what he accomplished because you and I could do steroids all day long, performance-enhancing drugs, and not hit 700 home runs in a career. Jenkins is 80. (laughs) Is he really 80 right now? He's 80 years old. Uh, David, I think at the beginning of the pandemic during those sad, haunting shows where we were going through all of your notes, uh, like the notebooks in seven that belonged to Kevin Spacey, I believe. Didn't you tell Mike Ryan that you guys had all sorts of plans around possibly Stanton breaking Maris's record and pretending that it was the real record? So you may recall in 2017, there was not 
break-ins on national broadcasts when Stanton was at 59 home runs and had set the record for the Marlins and won the MVP. It was a monster year and in, a, in an otherwise disappointing, sort of depressing year for the franchise the year after uh, Jose had died. But Stanton's season was epic. And our view of it always was, hey, listen, just get to 61 if you can, tie Maris, because then we're going to get to say, hey, look at Mr. Clean. And he is, Giancarlo Stanton is Adonis, right? Like, and I have been around him since he was a kid. So you can tell sort of what players are and what they do and what they don't do. And he is, he is perfect in every way. And this is not me being a, a, a weird fan. This is me just having seen him naked. And so the fact is that he... We wanted to promote it in Wait a, a way that was uncomfortable. With I mean, Major you don't have to see him naked to see that Giancarlo Stanton looks great in a uniform. It appears that this was no, a life-changing a, experience listen, for wrong. David because I, he he talks about Giancarlo Stanton in such glowing terms. I mean, his, he is an Adonis, though. He, he was he on the cover of a magazine wearing only body paint. Yes, uh, he was. ESPN the magazine. Yeah. The body is. He right. actually autographed that to me. I wish I could show it to you right now, but it's hanging in a different place. You had him autograph he, that. He 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 fra- we, we he autographed and said, "I bet you wish you had applied the paint." Love Giancarlo. <laughs> he, so he knows how creepy you were around him. He knows he noticed it's not you. Creepy. It, we it, just, it sounds fun creepy. Well, if he knows that, it's creepy. I mean, <laughs> but by the way, so there there are people who don't look good in uniforms, and the number one example, and I I can maybe come up with the top five list if I had a minute of the people who don't look good in uniforms but have unbelievably fit Adonis like bodies. Number one on the list for sure is Juan Pierre. Uh, well, he wore those baggy uniforms, yes, and but he that's was the point. Yes, he, he was, looked he looked small and sort of like nothing, and then all of a sudden he he takes off his shirt and and you look at him and say, "Oh my god!" That's not the point. The point is that only Starling Marte and Giancarlo Stanton look great in a uniform. It's damn near impossible to look like that in a uniform. He liked wearing. He would always do. We would talk to uh, Stan. It would drive us crazy when he would not promote the Marlins the way we'd want him to because he was so upset with the franchise and so upset with the losing and so upset with the players coming and going and all of the craziness that went on. When he would do interviews, post game interviews, do you recall that he would wear very tight, sleeveless workout tops and not Marlin stuff? Yes. I don't know if you. Yes, all yeah, yeah. This. He would always do this. It would do. It would be like those Lululemon super dry fit the things. Tightest things you could ever find, where he just looks like a Hulk, but not promoting the Marlins. And I would say to him, "Why can't you wear Marlins stuff?" He said, "You can't tell me what to wear." And the problem is, he had all the leverage, and he was right. What do you make now with the Yankees? He wears Yankee stuff whenever he does his interviews. I- I'm good for the occasional thirsty show, but. Put it together, guys. Yeah, I know. Well, wait a minute. You're putting it on. Okay. Bang. Bang.